Hi everyone, so for today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to do that 3D tube transition thing. Really quick before we start, I just want to give credits to at ya yan something like that on Instagram. Um, this transition was inspired by them, so yeah, credits to them. So here I have a two second clip. This is about four segments in a regular edit. You can choose however many clips that you want in this transition. I'd say three to five is a good number, but whatever you choose, just merge your clips and we can get started with the transition. So let's go to new multi-layer, press 3D of course. I'm just going to make the color background green right now. However, I will show you guys how to make it more so it's like, it's like in a room instead of just having like a hexagon background or something like that. But anyways, for layer one, I'm just going to add a text I'm just going to type in a capital O like that and then I'm just going to look through a font where it's just like it's just like a regular O like that and then the style is 3D. Now I'm just going to go to color and just choose whatever color you want. I'm just going to do yellow. Then I'm going to go to outline and I'm going to use that same yellow and make sure that this little bar is all the way down. So it looks like this. Now I'm going to go to spacing and here we can edit the thickness of it. I'd say right around like here would be a good um, thickness, but it's all up to you. Now I'm going to go to layer 1 and edit keyframes, and I'm going to go to these up and down arrows and turn it by 25. Doesn't matter whether it's going up or down. And I'm going to size it down a bit, and I'm just going to move it down. Now I'm going to go back, and then for layer 2, I'm going to add a color layer. I'm going to use the same yellow, but I'm going to make it a bit darker, like that. And now I'm going to go to Layout and find um, 3D Tube. Now go to Edit Keyframes and Show Other Layers so that we can see Layer 1 as a guide. And size it down so it kind of fits with the tube like that. And then just move it down. Now I'm going to go back and for layer 3, I'm just going to copy layer 1 and copy keyframes from layer 1. Now I'm just going to move it up. Now go back and for layer 4, we're just going to copy layer 2 and press 3D tube and copy keyframes from layer 2 and I'm just going to move it up as well. Once you have something like this, it's time to add your picture. So for layer 5, I'm just going to add my first picture. I'm going to go to layout and I'm just going to press cuboid. Then go to edit keyframes and show other layers. Now I'm just going to size it down so that it's about like, so that it looks like it would fit through that little like hole in the tube, you know? Now I'm just going to play with the values of these little arrows until it's at an angle that I like. This is really all up to you. Now, at the very beginning, I'm just going to drag it down like this. I like to drag it down to the bottom like this because if we're going to do the whole room thing and you like tilt it at a certain angle, you still won't be able to see the cube. Now, I'm going to go to about 15 keyframes in and I'm going to drag it all the way to the top like this. Now, I'm just going to add my graph. I'll be using the same graph throughout the video so I won't be showing this process again. Now for layer 6, it's going to be a similar process, so I'm just going to put my picture, cuboid, and I'm actually going to go back to layer 5 just to see the size of this, so 23. I'm going to make it the same size. Now once again, I'm just going to play with these little arrows to tilt it at an angle. Now at the very beginning, I'm just going to drag it down to the bottom of the cube again. Now I'm going to go to the 15th frame and I'm just going to press this down button to mark it down. Now about 15 frames after that, which is around 1.00, I'm just going to drag it to the top like this and then just add the graph. Once again, I'm just going to go to layer 7, put my picture, cuboid, size it down. Once again, just tilt it at whatever angle you'd like and then just move it to the bottom of the tube. Now I'm going to go to 1 second in, so 1.00, and I'm just going to mark down the path. And then 15 frames after that, 1.15, I'm just going to drag it to the top of the tube like this. And of course, add your graph. One thing that I forgot to mention that you can add to each cube is a little bit of a turn as it's coming up. So here, I'm just going to mark down the left and right arrows. 
And then at this keyframe, I'm just going to turn it a bit. The higher the value, the more it'll turn as it's coming up. And I'm not going to add a graph for that. Now I'm on my last picture, so once again, just put it in, press cuboid, just size it down once again, put it at whatever angle you want, and move it down. Now I'm going to go to 1.15, and this is where I'm going to mark down my path. If you're going to add a turn, then mark down the left and right arrows as well. Then about 15 frames in, which is at 2.00, I'm just going to drag it up to the top like this, and add the turn. And lastly, I'm just going to add my graph. Now I'm going to show you how to make the background as if it's in a room, as well as how to keyframe the whole thing and add the movement. If you want, you can just leave it like this and add your own background, but if you want to see how I added the movement, then skip to this timestamp. So to get a picture for the walls, I just searched up gray texture. You can really just choose any of these. I'm just going to use this one. Now on Video Star, I'm just going to add the texture for layer 9. Make sure that when you import it, you import it as a square like this. Now I'm going to press expand, then go to this arrow and press back. And use this little thing, move it all the way up. Now I'll just go to edit keyframes, and I'm just going to size it all the way up. Now I'm just going to go to layer 10 and copy layer 9, expand move this thing up, and this time I'm going to choose left. Then go to edit keyframes, and I'm just going to copy keyframes from layer 9. Now for layer 11, I'm just going to copy layer 9 as well, expand, and move this up, and this time I'm going to press bottom. And copy keyframes from layer 9, or 10, doesn't matter. Now I'm going to add a right wall, but this is kind of optional because it really depends um, on how you add the movement because it may not be seen at all and you know be kind of pointless for yours but I'm just going to add it in case of course press expand this time I'm gonna make it the right copy keyframes from layer 11 10 9 whatever it doesn't matter so once you've got that I'm just gonna go to add master and add a master with all of the layers now for the movement, honestly just play around with the settings until it looks nice. All I'm going to say is don't add any keyframes like in the middle, just like let's say I'm trying to make it turn around, right? So let's say from here all the way here, I'm not going to add any keyframes. It just looks a lot smoother this way. But obviously if that's the only movement you're going to add, it's really not that, um, that obvious. So we're going to add a little more. So what I like to do is I just play with the depth as if it's kind of like moving into the room, if that makes sense. Um, just play with the y-axis like this. It might have that little like thing there, so just play around with the angles and stuff. Now, if this happens where you want to turn it a little more, but one of the walls is blocking it, just go to show other layers and just remove that wall for now. We're going to keyframe it later so that it can't be seen. Anyways, just play around with the x-axis and the y-axis, and then at the very end, just move it to another angle. And I also like to zoom it in or just make the depth higher, it doesn't matter, it's the same effect. So once you're happy with how it looks, I'm just going to go back to the layers. And obviously here we have one wall is blocking the tube. So for me, that is layer 10, but depending on how you angled your room and stuff, it might be a different layer, but regardless, it's going to be the same process. So I'm just going to go to that wall, edit keyframes, and I'm going to turn down the opacity to 50. This is just so we can see like when the wall is actually coming into view. So I'm just going to go around. So here we can see, you can see the wall right here is kind of coming out of view. So that's kind of where we can, you know, put it back at full opacity. So I'm just going to mark down the opacity at zero here. And on the next frame, I'm just going to mark it down to 100. Then I'm going to go back to the beginning and make the opacity zero as well. And now it should look like this. Now I'm just going to go back and to add a little bit more dimension to this, I'm just going to go to layer nine, which was the first wall. And I'm going to go to color, 
and then brightness and then i'm just gonna play with the brightness of each of each wall we want the room to have dimension and look realistic and we can't do that if it's all just one solid color like this now once you are happy with how it looks of course just press create and done one last thing that i forgot to do i'm so sorry but if you want to add a reflection to your tubes then make sure to save a preset before you create the whole thing then you can follow my reflection tutorial sorry for the promo but i didn't save a preset of mine so i can't really show you guys but once you're at the step of changing the colors make sure to change layers one through four which are the tubes to just one singular color and then change everything else the room and the cubes into a different color so sorry that i forgot that but if there's any confusion just comment down below and i will do my best to help you thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please make sure to like subscribe and follow my instagram at virgoyunes thank you for watching and goodbye